All right, everyone, PTL here, and we're back after a one month hiatus dealing with a lot of health issues, but we're back. And on today's episode, we got our 2022 Royal Enfield, and we're going to be putting in some new grips because I bent the credit out of this one and I reshaped it, and it's not safe for riding. So let's get to work because this is Pinchy Al's Garage. For the grips, um, obviously you have your clutch and your brake. Clutch on the left and brake on the right. We want to swap them out, and but we want to make sure we don't damage anything or we don't cause, um, what's the word, a difference in how the bike feels besides giving you some more uh, flexibility with your, um, with your grip. So we went on Amazon, we found a good set and the way that you know you actually got one for the Royal is the clutch is fine. It's the actual um, brake lever is what you need to pay attention to. And I'll show you guys what I mean. Now I got these from Amazon on a company called FX CNC. Uh, they have full adjust adjustments. And I just got the nice, just machine black. Um, they got six pretty much adjustments on here. They're actually much lighter than the factory ones, which I really like. And one thing that I did notice and that I paid attention to is for the brake lever, you gotta make sure you have this little dimple in it. If not, it will not work for you. That's how I figured out I got the wrong ones because if they have the machine flat surface, these will not work on a Royal Enfield. You have to make sure they have the little dimple in them. So when you look for uh, grips, definitely pay attention to that, uh, especially on the brake side. On the clutch side, it's pretty straightforward. Um, the clutch little uh, notch right here goes in. That's what actually pulls on it. And we're gonna have to do some adjustments. So we are our clutch and we got our brake. So let's swap them out. So you're gonna need a 10 millimeter on top to hold the nut. I mean, to hold the bolt. And then you're gonna need an eight for the bottom one down here break it loose I already did that part once you do that set your nut aside you don't want to lose it and then pretty much you're gonna crank this loose right here now this is just using hand tools if you guys want to use power to power tools by all means go for it there's not much to this so So make sure you don't lose this bolt. It's very important for your install. And then down here, I'm gonna, let's see, where is it? Okay, so you have a little notch down there. So, I'm trying to remember how I took this out last time. Oh yeah, <laughs> I released the uh, the cable on the clutch it's on the actual uh, gearbox. So right. on the clutch cable, when you go actually go to the actual shifter linkage on the transmission, there's a 10 and an eight that hold it together pretty much like this. You just take those off and then the cable will come loose. Put that in your pocket. And then you'll be able to actually just yank, yank this guy out pretty straightforward like that. See? So this is what locks it right here. 
and this is just your clutch. So we're gonna rinse and repeat. Same thing. This has a little notch here that's different. So I'm gonna see if this interferes with anything right now. Okay, I just bought these, so I don't know. I mean, I got a couple people on there, I read up, and they all said they fit, so. Do you know, that Chinese quality. So the only issue I'm having right now is getting this to slide in. fits but I can't get to slide in where it needs to actually line up Seems like right now the bolt is in an angle so I'm gonna try to get a little flathead screwdriver and pry it towards me. I mean, pry it away from there. All right, that did it. So what I did is got my uh, my Phillips and kind of just wiggle it in there and strained out the bolt of uh, the hole. So now I'm gonna put my main hardware here. Still having a little bit of a fitment issue. Looks like I got it. So, right now I'm trying to feed it through to make sure the grip actually goes all the way through. See here, it won't even go back. I know there's no tension on it, but this, the how smooth this is is pretty bad, so. I'm gonna spray some white lithium grease inside of here and see if that'll free it up, and then I'm gonna, um, what's it called? I'm going to uh, 
put the cable back in on there and see if that fixes the problem because that's way too much tension on this this is really hard and it's not even there's nothing attached to it it's, it's the spacing is not the best between here so we might have to pry this open just a bit so we don't obviously don't damage it but we want to make sure we we can do it and then uh, put some grease in here um, white lithium is probably the best that way you don't um, attract too much dust and it gives you the actual long-term um, like slipperiness on the surface all right so what I figured out is that once I put this in it was jamming pretty bad you see right here now I'm nice and I got it back with no resistance whatsoever so what I ended up doing is I put the grip in put everything back together the way it was and then what I did was push down on it push up on it and I kind of like use this as a lever to pry the uh, actual uh, brace here open slowly I didn't push really hard I just gave it a little wiggle up and down and now I got a clutch lever that works really well um, so uh, this right here your adjustment on where you want this is really up to you um, you definitely want a good couple teeth before um, what's the word before you actually have uh, engagement so if you need to find your sweet spot definitely uh, play around with it and do some adjusting and find your spot where you want it and where it matters to you once you do that then you want to tighten everything down um, I'm not a big fan of a clutch lever being too close to my actual grip, so having it all the way out is much, much nicer to me. I pretty much got these because I needed something closer with a better feel because my other ones were completely bent. Um, so this kind of solves that problem. Um, now I'm going to get this bottom nut nice and snug. Seven. <laughs> my eight red doesn't fit, but my socket does. That's weird. I'll tighten that down just a bit. But yeah, I'm really enjoying that. Now I gotta find my my sweet spot for engaging. So if I had to do any adjustments here or on the actual transmission itself. All right, everyone. Well, now we're on the brake side. On the brake side, there's really not much adjusting. You just unbolt and bring them out and you're pretty much done. There's a flathead on top that has a little notch here. And then there's another, I think this is a 10 down below. And be careful when you unmount this, there's a little spring inside of here that likes to pop out. So be careful, okay? I'll show you what I mean. So, funny story. I've actually dropped this bike twice already. Once going down to the brake side, bending this grip and then once on the other side both times I wasn't riding I was actually just pushing the bike out and I just lose my footing and I just drop it nice and slow but the only things I have ever damaged on this bike are just the brake levers and my pride <laughs> So the 10 millimeter down below is pretty straightforward to come out. And then you need a flathead for this guy. So don't just yank it all the way out. 
what you're gonna do is hold on to this pull this out and then kind of wiggle it out nice and slow you'll see that and this is what I mean by the cup you need see here's the cup there's like a little dome ship thing here there's a little rubber grommet and there's a spring behind that you want to make sure that all goes in like that okay guys make sure that happens if you don't this is gonna have issues when you try to push it in you're gonna damage the we're putting it back in so I'm using a little bit of white lithium grease from WD and I do this just to extend life Not rust and not have um, just not fail prematurely just because you know the manufacturer just decided not to put grease in there um, again I just do this it's just my my thing you don't have to do it but I like to do it I'm trying to get the right Push it in like that. Then align that grommet at the same time. See, these are little things you gotta there's a little rod that lines up in the inside of that guy and this is why i was pre-warning you don't let it pop all the way out because it becomes a hassle but the brake lever is like there's no adjusting there's no anything you just pop it on and go um a good spot on number four on this guy number six on the other one put this back on the little 10 millimeter nut that goes down below put it as far as you can with your hand on there. Now it's going to turn on you. That's it. And that's what we're looking for. Nice, smooth, uh, engage and release motion. We're not trying to have it like get all stiff like the other side was. The other one happened probably because when I dropped it, it bent it in a weird way, but that fixed it. Um, and that's pretty much it. After that, you just enjoy your ride now. Um, this thing needs a major wash. I haven't washed it in about two weeks, and I've been through some crazy bugs lately. But this is the first mod I've actually done on the bike. Uh, my next one is actually going to be upgrading the brake master cylinder on this guy. To a much nicer uh, higher end model uh, something with a bigger reservoir and a 
um, just a better feel. I've read up online a lot and a lot of people recommend uh, a bigger brake reservoir, uh, pretty much like from a street bike. Uh, it will make the front brakes stop a lot better. These brakes do tend to take a little bit longer to stop or you gotta push a little bit harder to get it to stop and I'm not fond of that. Um, so we're definitely gonna be investing on new brakes. Uh, brake master cylinder first for upgraded. Uh, I don't do any high performance riding so I'm not gonna be upgrading the brake lines. Don't really care for that. I mean, I just, I ride to enjoy the ride. I don't ride for speed. Uh, after that, we're gonna be upgrading the headlights and the turn signals on the front and back. Get something more, um, more modern and with an LED bulb as well on the headlight and the turn signals. The headlight definitely needs a major LED upgrade. These guys are very dim for nighttime riding. You gotta run with high beams on at night to get any decent lighting. And then, uh, after that, we're going to be doing the seat. Once we're done with the seats, we're going to be doing the exhaust. Uh, once we're done with the exhaust, we got the intake. And then uh, we're probably going to do tires next. Something a little bit more on the meatier, sportier side. I'm thinking something with more, um, a little bit more meat. Just we just need a little bit more girth on the on the tires on this bike. And then uh, probably going to get a little bit stiffer shocks for the rear. Uh, probably gonna do adjustable forks in the front and then we're pretty much gonna be done. I don't want to do anything else to this bike um, I'm Probably gonna do a little bit more cosmetic work uh, kind of like this and get some more some might maybe some more uh, nicer sleeker bar end uh, covers uh, Just again more aesthetics and then just move forward on to that uh, type of uh, On the bike. I'm not really caring about the performance on it. This bike rides really well. I just want a better exhaust um, I love the sound of a little bit growly exhaust on these things. They sound really nice. And um, I'm looking for like a two to one exhaust to get that really nice um, growl to it. And that's pretty much it. We're not gonna go any further on performance modifications. We're gonna be investing more in aesthetics and moving forward, maybe some bar end mirrors as well. Uh, again, things I'm gonna be focusing on later when we start doing some more work on this. But thank you again, guys, for enjoying this episode of PTL's Garage with our 2022 Royal Enfield with new uh, grips and pretty much uh, straightforward. I will post the link on which grips I got and pretty much straightforward install. Nothing crazy for you guys. Peace out. You guys have a wonderful day.